Hi friends, welcome to Bella Stitchery. So, I'm always hunting for hauntingly cute Halloween paper collections, and I have promised that I would share them with you as I find them. This was actually in my paper stash from last year, and I've been having a lot of fun with it this week, I thought I'd share. It's from American Crafts Pebbles Company, and it's called Midnight Haunting. So adorable. Let me show you some of the stuff, spiders. By the way, in case you're wondering why my arms look really big, it's because I'm standing on a chair to show you this closer. So in the event that I stop talking and there's a loud crash, please send help my way. I think we'll be okay as long as I don't move, but I wanted to show you in a closer up fashion. So I'm putting my life in my hands for you, my friend, for you. Look at this cuteness. I love that. This has some little tiny embellishments you can cut apart. They're not die cut, but you could cut those apart. Let's see some other stuff. Pumpkins, cute. The color palette is not quite grungy vintage. It's pretty clean, almost cutesy, but still kind of a softer, almost vintage color palette. So the white's not super white, it's still kind of a cream. And I like that some of the designs don't necessarily have to be Halloween. They could just be kind of like the season. Look at the bats. Cute. I love plaid. Mad about plaid. That never gets old. Everyone loves that pun. There's the little smaller check there. Ghosts. Flowers. I mean, cute, right? I have already used a ton of this paper. I'll show you some of the cards. Look at the butterflies. I am kind of really into butterflies. I have another video, by the way, in which I make some glitter butterflies, if you wanna check that out up there. Same kind of color palette. So there's lots of fun stuff in this one. Oh, look at the eyeballs, eyeballs. So let me show you also, there are die cuts that go with the collection too. I put them on paper so you can kind of see them a little bit better. Look at how cute. This is all I have left. It did come with more, but I've been, again, crafting between this year and last year. That's not part of it, but Adorable, right? So let me show you some of my cards that I've made. Look at this, cute. So this is from this pack. And then I just matted it with some gold from Tim Holtz, made my own little banners, put some little birdie crafts flowers on there. Adorable. This one, also cute. And guess what? If you've seen my cards in the past, what's, what's special about this? Well, I mean, I don't know but they fit in an envelope. <laughs> so the designs are so cute. I haven't gone as nuts with dimensional objects on here, but they're cute just on its own. So these will actually fit in a regular envelope. For those of you who um, I've been kind of stressing out with like my cards that are this big and they have to go in like, I don't know, their own crate, shipping crates. And then this one I've made my own dyed flowers. I have a video for that here if you wanna check that out as well. These all started out white. I used some Dilutions acrylic paint to make that orange. And you could also decorate the inside, super easy. Everything coordinates. This I love, I made this this morning. A little bow, little embellishments from the collection. And then I noticed this die cut that came with, with this pack here fits a gift card width wise. It's not very, look at that. But um, you can fit a gift card right in there if you just put glue on the edges. Cute, right? Easy, easy little gift card option. So um, that is it, quick video today. I just wanted to share what I've been working on and share this cute little paper pack. I'll put a link to this and the embellishments in the description. So if you want this, you wanna check it out, you could also get creative and make some 12 by 12 layouts, I'm sure, with this. I have a video about how to do that with eight by eights. If you wanna check, man, I'm just linking all over the place. If you wanna check that out too. So leave me a comment. Let me know your favorite Halloween costume you've ever dressed up in. I think mine would be Powerpuff Girl. I was a Powerpuff Girl along with my sister and sister-in-law one year, and my husband was the Punisher. It's really special. So that's my favorite, what's yours? Subscribe, ring the bell, check it out. Let's craft, let's make stuff, bye.